We are in Microsoft Outlook 2016. I'm going to show you how to create a new meeting. Now, a new meeting is different than a new appointment, if you see that under the Home tab. A uh, meeting is designed to be sent to multiple people, whereas an appointment is designed usually for just one person, although you can invite people if you want. So you'll see a few different options here, but uh, mostly it's the same as the appointment option, with the exception of being able to book a room and easily add additional people without uh, a lot of effort. So let's go ahead and click on the two box and we're just going to pick uh, some people to come to our meeting and we'll just tell them that they are required to be there. And then we'll pick somebody else out of the list and say, oh, it's optional for them to be there. And then if it's a resource that we have, such as a device, maybe a television or a room, such as a conference room, we can add that here if we want, but we're going to add this in another spot. Let's go ahead and click OK. The subject is going to be accounting. We're going to have an accounting meeting and we're going to choose a date and we're going to choose a location. Now I can type in a location or I can go to my rooms and if I have a room then I'll see that show up and in a previous video I showed you how to create a room mailbox with a calendar in Office 365. So let's go ahead and double click on that room, click OK, and we can see the location is the conference room. And when we're ready, we can go ahead and click Send. Now let's go ahead and check the Scheduling Assistant and it tells us if any of those people are busy during that time. And it looks like we're good, so let's go ahead and click on Address Book if we want to add additional people. Our list is good. We can click on check names. The names are good. If they're not, then it'll tell us at that point. We can click on response options. We can say request responses or allow new time proposals in case they want to pick a new time. We're going to show this time as busy and we're going to give ourselves a reminder at the 30 minute mark, but we can change that to another time such as one hour. We can also have this appointment reoccur. Let's have it reoccur every Saturday and we'll say for the next 10 occurrences. And let's go ahead and click OK. So now they're going to be booked every Saturday and they're going to see this same one once they accept the meeting. We can change the time zone if we want. We can also change the room. We can click on categories and say, oh, we want to make this an orange category instead of a blue one. And we can also choose private if we don't want people who share our calendar to know that we're meeting. We can give it a different importance if we want as well. And then when we're all done, we can just go ahead and click Save. And now we can close. And now our meeting request is done.